I've had a few seasons in life where everything seemed awesome and then everything fell apart. One was in young motherhood. I had this amazing group of friends. We held each other up in so many different ways. We got so close, so fast. And then many of them ended up moving away and I was left lonely again. So I kind of crawled back into my introvert hole and gave up on making those deep friendship groups again. I wonder where you have loved and lost. Maybe in family or friends or church or jobs. That pain is real and you're not alone in it. I love that scripture doesn't shy away from the hard. Naomi knew how we feel in these empty moments. And so as I read through the book of Ruth, I was like, this lady gets it, right? She knows what those low points feel like. And we get to hear her raw emotions in her words of lament after both of her sons and her husband die in a famine on foreign soil. She said, I went away full and the Lord has brought me back empty. Why call me Naomi when the Lord has testified against me and the Almighty has brought calamity upon me? Do you guys hear that? Naomi was claiming that the Lord was against her. The name Naomi means pleasant one. And yet she didn't want to be called that anymore. She wanted to be called Mara or bitter, but if you read the rest of her story, you know that God had blessings coming for her that she couldn't see. Her life would be redeemed and cared for by a faithful daughter-in-law, and she'd become part of Jesus' family tree. Her story reminds me that no matter how bitter we feel, you guys, no matter how much we've lost, God has a good plan for those who love him. And we probably won't be able to connect all those little dots in real time. And the things that we've lost may not always be recovered the way we want it. But the Lord is working your story out for good, just like he did for Naomi. <laughs>